What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Turkish style Chinese Sumo series where I talk about those really special symbols. And today I'm talking about what does make them stand out and what does make them special. But before I begin, I encourage you to subscribe. So please subscribe and also click the bell button so you don't miss any video in the future. All right, let's get started with this really special video. Now, what makes those symbols really special? It is the tradition that flows into the symbol making. And Chinese people have different traditions and they are totally loyal to the traditions and that's the same with the symbol making. Those Chinese symbols are made in the same way as they were made few hundred years ago. There were no change, there's no change to the symbol quality because they are not blinded by the modern music and they are not going to write with the new types of music because the old symbol making tradition is still alive and that doesn't allow the manufacturer to produce new sounds for the new styles of music. And to be honest, the new styles of music have destroyed the typical symbol making tradition that were active 100 years ago, especially with Silgen. Silgen has made the best symbols on the market from 1623 to 1940. And the reason why Silgen has changed the production type of production is that the new types of music are going alive, especially rock. So that means Cision and other manufacturers need to produce symbols for rock music and they need it to be completely different from those symbols that were used in the orchestra or jazz music or whatever. So all symbol companies are going with the time except, except some Chinese symbol manufacturers. And I will show you that right now, especially on my right symbol and China symbol. So I am here at my drum set and if I am going to my right symbol or this crash symbol here, so we can see that the symbol making is completely different than that to this special Chinese symbol. So to produce a really bright sound, the hammering is really small and we can see it on the China symbol. The hammering is more deeper and more larger. And that's the same with my right symbol. So we have here those really deep hammer marks, but those hammer marks are completely over the entire symbol. And we have also 
some hammer marks that are also really deep and in the same diameter as those that we can see right here. So I need to find this um, in a way where I can search it or I just turn the right upside down like that. So maybe we can see it much more better. So now we can see it much more better because we can see the large hammer marks here, but we can also see those ones that are not as deep as those other ones, but still there. So like, for instance, here. So yeah, this is really, really special type of hammering that we can see on the symbol right here. And that is what that what those symbols make so really, really, really special. And we can also see the wonderful lathing here on that symbol. It is all handmade, but completely different than those Turkish type of symbols I have here. But they are also handmade but the manufacturing of those symbols is very special and one of a kind in the symbol making way because no other manufacturer and no other symbol maker makes symbols in that way. And let me tell you that. I have seen the market. I have seen every pro producer of symbols. I have seen every brand. I have seen every symbol smith and no one, literally no one does produce symbols like those Chinese symbols maker do. And that is something really, really, really special. And I uh, put my right symbol back on the stand. So let's put it back on the stand. Oh, it's quite... It's quite heavy, about 3.6 kilograms or whatever. But yeah, I hope you liked that video. So this was my very own opinion on why those Turkish style Chinese symbols are really really special and i hope you like this video so when you like this video please give me a like please comment below please uh get, subscribe and yeah for all other people who have already subscribed thanks so much for subscribing and we see us in the live stream tomorrow at 5 p.m. German time. Bye-bye.